Hey guys, Tallfall24 back with another video. Today we're talking about the Nightmare Zone. The Nightmare Zone is located just north of Yanil, right here. It's a really easy teleport if you can utilize the Watchtower teleport. Pretty much then just run north and you're good to go. So you want to start off by talking to the Dominic Onion. You want to do the Dream. I've already set up a Dream right now. You want to do a Rumble Hard. Then what you want to do is make sure that the Nightmare Zone creatures you're attacking are the Trap Soul, Count Drainer, Sand Snake, King Roald, the Kendall, and Kazard Warlord. Those are just my favorite, so they can change depending on what you actually want to attack, as well as other people actually prefer other things. What you also were going to go in with is your best in slot weapon as well as armor. Depending on what you want to train, the Abyssal Whip is going to be your best weapon for your attack and your defense, and it also works on all three, but your Abyssal Tentacle is really going to be your best strength, and once you get about 90 to 92 hit points, you want to move on to Darox. Darox is the best in slot training for strength overall in the Nightmare Zone. Another thing that you really, really need is your Dwarven Rock Cake. Your Dwarven Rock Cake will decrease your health down to 1, and I'll explain why later. Or if you have the Volatile Orb from the Dragon Slayer 2 quest, that actually works even better. Now the very first time that you go into the Nightmare Zone, obviously you want to have full armor, and you're going to run in with some Prayer Potions and your Super Combat Potions. You don't need your Dwarven Rock Cake or your V Orb. Pretty much your whole inventory will include Prayer Potions and Super Combat Potions. And for this setup, I'm just not going to you know, go full. But I've set up now to where I'm going to drink the potion. I have all this, and I'm going to accept it. So now, once we get in here, you're going to work your way. I usually like working towards a corner, or I like staying near the middle, near the original drink potion area. Because this is your first time, you're just going to wait for the creatures to pop in. And once the creatures pop in, you're going to protect from melee. And obviously, your best attack prayer, mine, will be piety, which is obviously the best. Um, if you can't afford that, maybe move to chivalry or downwards to, I guess, incredible reflex. So we have our first boss right there. Protect from melee. Use piety. And obviously, with this setup, I'm not going to do any damage. So, this is where you would drink your super combat potion. And the, the reason why you have your prayer is because you're constantly praying. You're not, they're not going to do any damage to you whatsoever. Now, the reason why you're doing this initially is so that you can get points. Your points will translate to you to getting potions. And potions will allow you to stay here for even longer and over time. So, to make it short and sweet, I'm just going to get out of this prayer. I'm going to allow them to kill me really quickly. And then we'll jump into what the points can translate to. I can't believe how high I'm hitting right now. This is wonderful. That's what you get when you get 99s. If they take a little longer, I may just actually have to run out. Well, it looks like they're finishing me off now. Nah, I'm just going to drink the potion. Now, if you die in here, you lose nothing. You actually wake up feeling refreshed, I believe, is what it says. So, pretty much what the points translate to or your absorption potion and your overload potion. An overload potion, it's like what we've always used, is you drink it and it lowers your health by 50 hit points, but then it boosts everything dramatically. Your absorption potion is a potion that allows you to pretty much have a standing health. So what you do is you run into the dream exactly the same exact setup so you go over here you do the rumble hard pay the 26,000 yes and then you get your absorption potions once you have enough point you get a crap ton of absorption potions fill up your whole inventory except for a couple slots for your super combat potions I personally don't like taking overloads just because every couple of minutes or every five minutes I believe it comes back your health comes back and that's the thing that you want to keep down the entire time that's with your Volatile Orb or your Dwarven Rock Cake. So while you're in there, you want to keep your health down to one, but ensure that you have Absorption Potions. What you do is you drink those suckers, and you can have up to a thousand Absorption, quote, health. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I got my absorption potions all set up now. I don't, in this run, if as long as I have enough points to have a crap ton of absorption potions, I don't need prayer potions anymore, but I still need my combat potions. So I'm going to drink this, accept it, and once again, I'm not going to protect from melee this time, but I'm going to just stand here. And uh, I forgot my volatile orb, which doesn't really matter, but in reality, I'm just going to show you what the absorption potion does. So while I drink it, you see in the top left-hand corner up there, it increases. This is my now health. It will actually, when I get damaged, it'll take that health away before it takes my normal health away. And that's the reason why you want to decrease your health down to one. Therefore, the monsters can only do a maximum damage of one, and so you have technically have 600 health, so they would have to see, hit you 600 times, which is a dramatic amount. So once again, you're going to use your piety, and this is the best AFK method in all of Old School RuneScape, and it's probably one of the fastest methods as well. So in this instance, because my health is not lowered already, they're going to be hitting pretty high. But that's pretty much the Nightmare Zone, and it's the best AFK method. I would highly suggest to do this on your phone. It's a wonderful way to just put your phone down. You can put your phone down for probably up to about seven minutes until you be slowly killed a lot more quickly. When your health auto regenerates, you pretty much just want to click on your volatile orb to lower it back to one, or your dwarven rock cake back to one. Make sure you try not to kill yourself. The overload sometimes it kind of screws you over because you know you will automatically heal 50 health points, and then you'll click the rock cake as you're about to heal, and then your health goes to 49, and then you can't use another divine, uh, can't use another potion, uh, so that you're screwed pretty much. So that's the reason why I always moved on to just using super combat potions. It's an easier way of, you know, increasing your stats and then being able to do your maximum hits. So if you have any questions, you know, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video.